Hi, my name is Nancy Rucker, and I started um, having problems. I can remember my stuff since I was three years old. I know. Never knew what was going on. But I'd say, really, when I hit my twenties, I started having random problems. I had cancer. I had probably multiple body organs for me. This thing failed, that thing failed. I had miscarriages. I mean, not been pregnant. I've been with this as long. I've had 19 surgeries. Wow. I went to a gastroenterologist because I was having so many stomach problems. I guess it was about three and a half years ago that I was in pain every day. And I did all kinds of tests and oh, your gallbladder is not really working. Let's remove that. And by the way, we'll test you for seeing that. Oh, you're negative. You're fine. Go home. I'm like, I'm in pain. There's something wrong. Fortunately, I ran into a friend of mine who said, Oh, I'd be the doctor on sport. And I was negative for seeing that too, so there is hope out there. Well, I had an autoimmune condition, and I was never good. I had been told I would possibly have lupus. And specifically, I had something called inflosing spondylitis, which all that means is, in a few years, you're going to be in a wheelchair and not be able to walk around. And the other side of the that I had was um, eye flares. I get three eye flares a year. And what that meant for me, maybe not for everybody else, but what that meant for me is the minute I got an eye flare, I would have to jump in the car to my eye doctor and get an injection of steroids in my eye. Okay. Probably three times a year, they didn't know why it would happen. But it was, if you couldn't imagine, it was excruciating painful to just sit there and stare at the ceiling while they could do a shot in your mind. Well, I'm happy to say, Dr. Osborne said, I'm going to do this test, and I'm going to you've got this. I went, okay. <coughs> By the way, my genetic history is eight of, uh, out of eight children. Um, at least four or five of my siblings have all the conditions different from mine. So we all have this going on genetically. So I understood it because I had been diagnosed with my autoimmune condition through genetic markers. So when they said genetics, I went, oh, okay, there's more in world celia than just this, oh, you're fine, get out of here, you don't have this, okay? Uh, so I went into him and yes, I was the same as you. I had proved before. Well, what has happened is uh, he just started me off on the celiac version of gluten free. And I guess it was about three days later, I was on a plane. I was still on a plane. I went on a vacation. I said, This is the best vacation I've ever had in my entire life. We went to Disney World. I felt like I was a kid. I was out running my kids. I had so much energy. It was the most spectacular thing in the world to have no pain. And then the best news ever. Since I've been gluten free, I have had no eye flares. Not one. Not one. So if anybody ever tells me that it's unconnected, that it has nothing to do with it, that it does not affect you in any way, and I've had doctors to sneer at me when I tell them, I had another doctor recently go test me for CD and tell me I was crazy to, to not eat it. A medical doctor. It's just insane that they won't embrace this, that they don't understand. I say, I I had not one eye flare. If you can't tell me that's not related, but well, I'm having three a year for ten years. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Yes, we, we, we agree with you and everything, but then what doctors can we go to that won't set us back? Okay, they, they won't say you're crazy, we, we test results don't show that, and here I have everything that you can do. Well, I, the big question that you have to ask is not what doctors can I go to, but how can I avoid going to doctors? <laughs> and um, there are some standard screening tests that people like to get done. And my advice is if you have a doctor that you're comfortable with, it doesn't matter what he thinks about gluten. He's not going to set you back. If you're firm in your resolution and you know how your life has changed, then the hell with what he has to say. Right? Well, but, you know, don't eat it. You're not 60. 
get you know the immune system, the body breaks down, blah blah. That's that's I'm going to correct you. Yeah. That's not true. But if the let's let's say if uh, you had uh, physical, I've had scoliosis and stuff. So find somebody who can meet that need for you. In our local area here, there's two internal medicine doctors that I work with and recommend, Dr. Ford uh, and Dr. Holster. They're not going to poo-poo anything I say. Okay, so if you need somebody good, those are the two that you'll want to go see. Okay, so you're in good hands. I always say avoid it if you don't need it. Yeah. Okay. So, that was some powerful testimony. Thank you guys for having the courage to stand up and share your stories. Um, gosh, it almost brought me to tears. I'm not kidding. Um, so, I want to let you all know we've got a lot of food over here. There's recipes. Some of these are holiday meals. Some are just meals that you can incorporate. As soon as we break, we're going to head over to the table, help yourself, grab copies. We've got recipe books in the back. If you haven't picked one up or if you've bought one and you need to pick it up, we've got them here. Uh, we got them yesterday. And then those of you who haven't joined Gluten-Free Society yet, I'm going to encourage you to join. Uh, a big part of what we're trying to accomplish and what I get asked over and over again is, why aren't there more doctors like you? Why can't you recommend somebody in Connecticut? I got an email this morning. Somebody wants me to recommend somebody in Connecticut. Yesterday it was New York. It's Tennessee the day before. Well, that's what we're trying to accomplish. That's why we actually created Gluten-Free Society. This costs money. We're trying to raise enough funds. It costs money for me to get on a plane and fly and give continuing education hours to other physicians. And so a big part of the way we're trying to support this is through the Gluten-Free Society. This is kind of my... Um, this is my endeavor. And so if you haven't joined, join. If you know somebody who could benefit from it, spread the word and have them join because the only way we're going to make this happen is on the grassroots level. And, uh, and you guys are grassroots. So thank you for coming and let's go eat.